We did have a storm event that took place last night. The lake levels rose to approximately 75.9 meters above sea level, which is at the 2017 flood levels. We have been doing all that we can to mitigate the wave action and the high lake effect from affecting the island and affecting the closure of the island. There are, right now, there are 24 industrial pumps pumping full time, 24 hours a day to keep water levels low. We are keeping the water out of the island itself and the island remains open. The main road is open. The main concern last night is that the berms that we had put in place, the wave action actually went over the berms and with the waves going over those berms, we had a significant amount of flooding in the area that where we're standing right now in and around this residential community and the Wards Island Cafe, we had upwards of 20 to 30 centimeters of water. The sub pumps are working. They are getting the water off the island. The major pumps take half a million liters an hour off, off of the, uh, the, the ground here. So we are working continuously to keep the, the land dry. People were panicking last night. I was crying last night over when the water's pouring over the wall. We, uh, even one meter, me, the waves were so strong they were pushing me, uh, the bags away from us. We had to double meter. There wasn't an adequate sand, there was inadequate sandbags, but we managed to call out everyone. We had about a hundred volunteers working in different places. And once we got the water, the, the water coming over the berms held, held back, things started to feel okay. It, it happened within, I don't know, 45 minutes. The, the berms failed within 45 minutes of the wave action when the winds picked up. It was really scary for some people. Going forward, sandbags around the island are not the solution. We know we are in a moment right now of accelerating climate change. We see it, whether it's in Bracebridge or Ottawa or here in Toronto, that with inclement weather, 100-year storms have become nearly annual storms and that is frankly unacceptable for us when it comes to the islands to simply let this be the case for the future. An annual sandbagging effort cannot be the solution and so in June we will see coming from the Toronto Region Conservation Authority a detailed report It was commissioned last year and recommendations are coming forward in June uh, that will speak directly to long-term adaptation and mitigation measures. We will not allow the islands long term to simply be consumed by water, nor will we accept the annual practice of mitigation and sandbagging.